A trip to the doctor's office for some seems like a burden. Long wait times, unanswered questions, and follow-up appointments. But no matter what, we have to do it, and health is number one. I met with a Great Falls woman who has drawn the short stick of an illness that is commonly misunderstood. Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, and I'm sure you've never heard of it. And that's why we sat down to find out why it's more common than we think and signs that we can all look for. It's really hard because you want to get mad at them. You want to confront them and say, she's not making this up. You're not, you're not taking the time and the effort to figure out what's going on. That's the sound of a father concerned for his daughter. You can describe it, I guess, as like being in a really bad car accident every single day. Bree Wadsworth has been living with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome her entire life. 2017 is when she discovered something was wrong. I thought maybe it was cancer. Uh, and a lot of EDS patients will be diagnosed or think they have cancer, MS, lupus, uh, fibromyalgia, Lyme disease. All of those things are like kind of the first line that they think that they have. Brianna is a former dancer, cheerleader, and healthcare worker. EDS has taken over her life. Meet Dr. Sarah Stewart, the provider who diagnosed Brie. A genetic condition in which a person's collagen is varied or genetically different from someone who doesn't have um, one of those conditions. Patients with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome are often misunderstood. Unusual GI problems, mobile joints, and daily pain from joints that often pop out of place. A list of symptoms that go blind to the naked eye. For Bree, she's been misunderstood by doctors in our own community. Many of them tell her she has a mental health disorder. They have these misconceptions about me and just like EDS patients in general. What's weird is we all have the same story. We all have the same story about the doctors and the journey we go on, about not being believed, it taking forever. It takes over your whole entire life. Okay, you come in and uh, you don't have this thing that I'm a specialist in. So I just say, well, you don't have it and send you home. So you have doctors who are specialty trained, don't have a lot of time and with patients who have Ehlers-Danlos frequently they don't fit within the algorithms um, of standard diagnosis and oftentimes standard treatments don't help. Um, patients with Ehlers-Danlos require a lot of time and a lot of listening and a lot of outside the box um, strategizing for how to help them with their lives. Bree is looking to raise awareness, and without her diligent research, she would have never known her father has a less severe case of EDS. But this journey has nonetheless brought the two closer together. He's always going and getting something accomplished for me, whatever it may be. Um, uh, he's a fighter. Yeah. I love him. I love you too, darling.